Now, for anyone who doesn't regularly come to the church, one thing I always like to do when I'm giving a service is I like to tell a story. I just think it's one of the best ways that you can help get a point across of what a passage is trying to say. And who doesn't like a good story? Now, this one is actually taken from an old Chinese tale that I've just adapted a little bit to make it a bit more updated. So sit back, relax, and here's the story of the two watering cans. Once there was a nice, gentle and humble man named Jebediah, who lived not too far away. Jebediah was a man of a simple passion, and that passion was his garden. Every day he would be out there tending to the plants with great care, and when it came to his vegetable patch, well, sometimes he had a really good harvest, and sometimes he had a fantastic harvest, but that was because of the amount of work and care he would put into it. Now, as I said, every day he was out there, come rain or shine, he would trim the grass, tidy the hedges, look after his vegetables, and keep his bird bath topped up with water for all the birds who visited. Of course, Jebediah couldn't look after all this by himself, so he had two trusted companions to help him. Two watering cans. One of them was tall, big, shiny and brand new. The other was old, worn out and had a huge hole in the bottom of it. Jebediah would collect his watering cans from his shed, walk up the path, fill them both up to the brim with the tap and carry them down to fill up his bird bath. When he got there, he would tip the largest one and all the water would fill up the bird bath. But the old watering can had leaked all the way there and had not even a single drop left. Jebediah would then walk back up the path, refill both cans and then walk over to his vegetable patch. Again, he would water the whole patch with the large can, sprinkling cool, refreshing water over the soil for the seeds to drink. But once again, there was nothing left in the old can. Jebediah would then one last time go back to the tap, fill up only the old can, and then walk back to the shed at the end of the day. One night, the old watering can turned to the new one and asked, why does our owner and master keep me around? I'm no good for anything. All I do is leak water everywhere. I don't know why he bothers. I'd make a better sieve or colander in the kitchen. The new can didn't know what the purpose of the old can was either. He felt sorry for him and said, Tomorrow, when he comes and gets us, we should ask him. So the next day, when Jebediah was about to fill the watering cans up, the old one bravely said, Master, why do you keep using me when I am of no use at all? What service could I possibly provide to your garden? Jebediah just smiled back and said, just because you don't feel useful doesn't mean that I don't have a use for you. This puzzled the old watering can until he started to notice where his master was taking him. Every trip up and down the path, he was being carried to drip over a barren strip of soil. And as the days and weeks went on, some seeds began to grow from that soil. The seeds became stems. The stems began to flourish. And eventually they begin to flower. The old watering can saw that his leaking water was providing a service. The old can never again regretted its making or doubted it had a purpose. And in all the days of its service, the flowers on that bit of soil continued to bloom. 
This story reminds us of our gifts and that we can be a bit like that leaking watering can sometimes. We can see other people around us with these big shiny gifts and we can start to feel a little bit that we're not really contributing. We all have gifts, no matter how big, no matter how small. And like I said, even if we didn't have some of the smallest parts of our body, it would be rendered useless. No gift is too big, no gift is too small. When it comes to using our gifts and our talents that God has given us to help minister to other people, to preach the gospel, to worship and praise him, you are putting your gifts to good use.